Today I'm going to show you the benefits and the features of the TaxWise mobile app. For starters, they can use it on their smartphone, tablet, or even their desktop. You'll be provided with a link to be able to give to your customers via Facebook, via email, via website. So once they go there, this is what it's going to look like on the desktop version. So you can actually do an estimate and see how much of a potential refund that they would get. So let's get started. So the first question is going to be asked, what state did you live in? And I'm going to go ahead and select a state. That way it brings in a state into the return. Did I live there for 12 months? Yes. I'm going to hit next. I am single. I'm going to hit next. Are you a qualifying widower? No. I'm going to hit next. What age was I at the end of December 31st, 2018? I'm going to hit next. Can I be claimed as a dependent? No. Do you have any dependents? No. I'm going to say employment income and I'm going to hit next and this is where I'm going to put the information as far as the W-2 goes and I'm going to say I do not have another W-2. I'm going to hit next. I don't have any other expenses so I'm going to hit next and it's going to give me an estimate of how much of a potential refund that I can get. From here, your customer can hit continue so they can enter the rest of the information as far as their return goes. So it's going to go ahead and ask me to continue and create an account. Now it's going to have me go ahead and sign up and I can use either Facebook, Google, Microsoft, or LinkedIn, or I can just go ahead and hit sign up now. And this is where I'm going to go ahead and enter the email and of course send my verification code to it so that way I can go ahead and set up the account. Once I receive the verification code, I'm going to copy and paste it from my email and I'm going to say verify code and I'm going to create my new password and it's going to continue with the questions as far as the 1040 return goes. Most of it will be filled out from the estimator. All they need to do is basically fill out the rest of the demographics and once they filled it out they'll go ahead and hit next. Was your home in the United States for more than half a year? I'm going to say yes and I'm going to go ahead and enter the address and then go ahead and hit next. This is where they're going to enter all of their information as far as their ID goes and it does give them the option to be able to select a file to upload because we know how due diligence is. And I'm going to go ahead and hit next. It already has my W-2 checked off so I'm going to hit next. This is where I can upload a copy of the W-2s and I'm going to hit next. This is also where they can do the deductions. I'm going to hit next. This is where they can actually select the option to be able to do it as a bank product. So if I go yes, I'm going to hit next. This is just like any other consent form that they have to agree to. So they're going to have to put in a PIN. It automatically puts the date in. They can hit next. And we're going to go ahead and consent. We're going to hit next. This is where they can choose the refund advance, pre-act, uh, the RT, RT for the Fed and the state, or a disbursement check. It will only show what you have the capability of being able to offer. So I'm going to just say refund advance, and I'm going to hit next. It's going to show all of your fees that are associated with the return. I'm going to hit next. This is where they're going to be able to review it so that way they can make sure everything is correct because once they submit it they will not be able to go back in here and make any changes. They'll have to come into the office or give you guys a call. So I'm going to hit next. We're almost finished. They just need to choose the preferred contact method and you will be able to send email and text messages via this app so that way you can get in touch with the customer. So I'm going to say text message. Once I submit my interview, once they submit it, they're going to get a track my refund status so that way they can see as it progresses, like the returns being reviewed by your office or if you sent them over the signatures for them to be able to sign it, they'll see that it's been signed and then that it's been sent uh, to the IRS or the state. They can also come back in here in case they need to upload any other documentation or in case they need to contact you they can choose to call, text, or email. In the program itself 
you're going to see import interviews and if you select it you're going to go ahead and be able to select it once you open up the return you'll be able to come in here and go ahead and review it you'll also be able to review the documents that they submitted so if you select it it'll give you the copy let's say the w2 so that way you can review it for accuracy in the return once everything is said and done you can run the diagnostics create the e-file and submit it and of course if this return is not a bank product and they're choosing to pay out of pocket you'll need to get with the customer to make sure of your payment before you e-file the return but once you've e-filed it if the customer comes back and they want to track their refund status they'll be able to see that you've already submitted it this gives you the capability of being able to free up time to focus on your priorities uh, you can actually obtain do-it-yourself market share because we know that people like convenience in being able to uh, do it at their own time. It also attracts uh, the new generation of people are always on their smartphones, tablets, or their computers. And of course, it gives you the capability of going paperless so that you don't always have to have that file cabinet with all of the documents in there. It's digital and you can access it anywhere that you have internet.